everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. This is a kickboxer of the highest order. He has so many different kicks and punches in his arsenal and figures to try to keep this on the feet here today. The beautiful thing that he does is he throws that front push kick to create distance when a guy starts to get too close and wants to wrestle with him. He throws it, and the moment you're back at his range, he starts to blast high kick. He doesn't always intend on landing him, but he beats up your arm with high kick after high kick after high kick. And as you get desperate, you start to run into knees, and he does not need much space to land a knockout punch. This guy is one of the best strikers we've ever seen in the UFC. And if you don't find the striking range early against this guy, you could be in real trouble. Well, when you're fighting this guy, DC, you know as well as anyone, it makes for a suffocating night at the office. Here he is, Khabib Nurmagomedov, putting his status as one of the best fighters on the planet on the line yet again tonight. He does it every time he steps foot in the octagon. When they say it's suffocating, they talk about the strength of Habib. Even our teammates say it does not feel like you're going with a lightweight. You right. feel like you're fighting a light heavyweight. And what do you expect from a guy that spent his childhood wrestling with Bear? <laughs> he is so strong. He's so physical in the hard work and the intensity of which he trains with only shows when he steps foot in the octagon. One of the most skilled guys the UFC has ever seen. We always talk about the wrestling and the grappling and the sambo, right. but don't sleep on Habib Nurmagomedov striking. And we saw shades of that in the McGregor fight. Javier Mendez says at times he likes to go south pine training. He can't hold you down. Ah, he can't hold me uh, down, but it's okay. It sure. It's okay. You can't win them all, Habib. <laughs> Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. More than five years apart. Some differences in height and reach as well. Now for the official Ladies introductions, here's Bruce Buffer. This is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Steve Levine. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 180 pounds, fighting out of Lisbon, Portugal, Chico. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, holding professional record of 29 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, Habib the Eagle, Nimagomedov. Okay, could take yourself at all time, will be my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. You ready? You ready? All right, so here we go. This highly anticipated fight is now underway. Looks like a classic matchup of striker versus grappler. Am I simplifying things too much? In this instance, you aren't, because this is what got these two men to the show. One guy is known for his diverse attack on the feet. The other guy is known for his ability to drag the fight to the mat and put his opponents in danger from the very start of the grappling exchanges. Lands the grounded pound strike here. Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. This is a terrible position. He's gonna tag armbar here. He might get a finish here. And this might just be a matter of time. So a quick night. 
night at the office for him here tonight. He told us he wanted to be efficient. He didn't want to waste a lot of time. He felt his opponent knew the takedown attempts would be coming, and he got the fight to the ground relatively easily, and his submission skills then took over. Big, big result for him early in round one tonight. Take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. Just watch how slowly he approaches the submission, though. He never rushes. He takes his time, but it's his trickiness. It's his ability to trick people into going to the floor with him that puts them in danger and finishing fights. So there he is, your winner by submission. That is a finish they will likely be talking about for some time. Big win, major statement made to the rest of this division. Ladies and gentlemen, the referee Ian Levine's called to stop for this contest at one minute, 55 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by submission due to an arm bar, Khabib the Eagle. Thank you for watching. Please wait for more videos. See you soon. Incredible result here tonight as you see the winner there celebrating.